Planning your success is crucial to achieving it. By the end of this video, you're gonna have a look inside of my own plan and how you can copy the format to build your own. The format for my goals slash plan resides within two platforms. One of them being Miro, I think that's how you say it, or Miro. Uh, and the other one is Trello. So Miro, Trello. If you don't have these platforms yet, make sure to go and create an account on that and download Miro um, if you're wanting to follow along with this series. If not, obviously you can just watch it and, and learn and do, do things your own way. But if you're wanting to copy the, my own system and the way that I've done it myself, then you will need both of these platforms. So you'll be using Miro to actually plan your goals and then you'll be using Trello to create tasks for yourself to then execute on those goals. Relating back to the previous episode, Miro is the destination and Trello is the captain. Now, if that doesn't make sense, then go back and watch the previous video. Uh, it should be popping up right there. Um, go back and watch that and then you'll be able to understand where I'm coming from in terms of destination and captain. Within Miro, plan your 20, 10 and 5 year goals as well as your 12 month and 6 month goals. Focus on 4 main areas within each of these uh, categories, so 20 year, 10 year, so on and so on. Focus within 4 uh, subcategories of these goals. Finance, health, life and material purposes. So start with your 20 year goals and work all the way back to your six month goals and try to, from that 20 year goal, everything that you do after that should be leading up to that 20 year goal. So let's say you wanna have 20, 20 million in some investment, right, whatever. Work out how much you would need to deposit today to reach that goal in 20 years and work out how much you need to have in six months um, a year, five years, 10 years, and then you're gonna be hitting it in 20 years. So whatever your goal is, work backwards and say, okay, what do I need to be doing within the next six months to be on track to hit my 20 year goal? Once you have all of your goals, then go into Trello and create yourself some tasks. So write some tasks down for six months, a month, uh, one week, and the next day, so tomorrow. So. Obviously, the, you'll be updating these every kind of period that they are. So every single day, you'll be doing those daily tasks. Every week, you'll be doing the weekly tasks. And this should lead you up to that six-month goal. So every, so from now on, the only focus that you have is accomplishing that six-month goal and writing tasks every month, week, and day to accomplish that six month task. Also a little bit of a, a side note slash tip in terms of using Miro and Trello, add some images, add some images to those tasks, to those goals, and it really helps with visualizing it and keeping you motivated to hit those goals slash tasks. Now over time, once you hit these tasks, once you hit these goals, they're going to change, right? Life changes, your perspective changes on life and your goals change. So don't be afraid to go back into Miro and change these 20 year goals, but just keep in mind you've set those for a reason and don't go changing them every week, okay? Really sit down and think about what you want in 20 years and work backwards. Now, I would say you can change your one year and your six month goals, but everything after that, try and keep it the same for at least a year, okay? Because you want to have these as long-term goals that you're going to be certain you're going to want in that time frame. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it kind of gave you some actionable things to do. Um, and good luck with your with your um, goal setting. Now, the next video is going to be going into finance. So as I mentioned, focusing on these four areas, one of them being finance, the next video is going to be diving into that a little deeper and showing you my goals for finance and showing you why I've chosen those goals in the first place. So you can do all this kind of stuff right now in terms of getting your goals sorted, but if you want to wait for tomorrow to see what my goals are and maybe tailor yours to that or just to get an example of what I'm talking about, then wait for tomorrow's episode and um, yeah, create your goals then. But I hope you have an amazing day. Let me know down in the comments below if you're enjoying this series. And if there's any kind of aspects to this you want me to cover, let me know down there as well. And yeah, I hope you're enjoying the series. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video.